What's up YouTube, it's AJ Watt back to you guys with another figure unboxing review. This time of the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Man thing uh, bullseye figure uh, from the Marvel Knights series or the Netflix series or what some people are calling it. Very excited to have this figure. Does use this the, uh, the new Spidey 2099 mold which is a very awesome mold in my opinion. Very different, very unique. So very excited to open up this guy. Comes with a man thing build figure piece, of course. And as you guys can see, we get the normal Marvel Legends packaging. And at the bottom, it says Bullseye right over here. Top, you get a nice Bullseye logo. On the sides, you get the same picture of Bullseye right over here in his costume. Then on the back, you have a nice picture of the figure posed up with his effects. And no, that's not a Colin Farrell head sculpt. And then right over here, we have the other figures in the wave. Daredevil, Punisher, Elektra, Jessica Jones, Blade, and of course, Bullseye. And with this last figure, we create the Man-Thing. And not really that much at the bottom at all. Just your simple warnings and all that crap. So let's go ahead and open up Bullseye. And so here I have Bullseye out of the packaging. The camera doesn't really capture the white. I should have used a black background, but oh well. He does have his uh, finger pointing hand on. And right off the bat, I have to recommend this figure. I'm not even saving it for the end. Really impressed with this guy. And really love the way they, they, uh, they use that Spider-Man 2099 mold for this figure. It just gives it an awesome look. A lot of posability and it's just like fantastic uh, the paint job is okay could have been better but pretty good for a Marvel Legends figure but overall really impressed with this figure and honestly this probably has to be my favorite figure out of the whole wave in my opinion I really think it's a fantastic figure so let's go ahead and check out his accessories before we get into bullseye so, for his first accessory, he comes with a left hand for his pistol. Trigger finger holding hand, just done in a plain white color. So, nothing special there. Comes with that finger pointing hand I was talking about earlier, which is done very nicely. And I know this is a comic book cover from uh, the Deadpool com, not the Deadpool, the Daredevil comics, man. I know I'm going to get roasted for that one. Woo! Deadpool, Daredevil. Man, I'm an idiot. But, really cool. Uh, hand pose right over here. Not going to have him posed up with this at all. Going to have him posed up with uh, this bad boy right over here. Once the camera catches focus. Come on, Cannon. You got it. There we go. And man, this the effects for this piece are is done awesome. I really like the way he's throwing the blades. Love the way the, the trans ah, tra translucent plastic uh, effect is executed. Does have a little bit of yellowing right over here, but no biggie in my opinion. But it looks so freaking awesome though. This is probably the only figure that came with a lot of accessories from this whole wave. And it should, because it is the best figure out of the whole wave, in my opinion, like I said. So, very, very awesome. Uh, very awesome effect. And then he comes with a knife right over here. Kind of a plain play knife right over here with the black handle so no biggie there and then he comes with this pistol right over here once the camera catches focus and I believe this is the same gun same pistol that we got with the uh, Nick Fury figure done in kind of a plain gray finish does have a little bit of nice sculpting throughout but just plain paint color and then he comes with an alternate head sculpt and no like I said it's not a Colin Farrell head sculpt 
but it is Colin Farrell inspired. The bullseye logo right over here on his forehead. You can see the chipped tooth right over there. Kind of a mean menacing face and the paint on this head sculpt is done very nicely. Love the way the ears are sculpted. Love the way uh, the mouth was sculpted as well also. Kind of see his tonsils right over there which is pretty cool. Really dig that. You can have this figure in a variety of poses with either head sculpt which is pretty awesome. And so here we have a close up of Bullseye. Looking awesome. Really love the way this head sculpt is as well. And it's it kind of feels sculpted. The bullseye on top of his forehead. You can see he does have that chip tooth still on this figure. Has kind of a menacing smile to him. And the blue's kind of like a navy blue color going throughout it with the white and the white stripes. Paint job is pretty okay on the figure. Using this the Spidey 2099 body that we got with the Sandman Builder Figure Wave. Then you can see his little holsters right over here on his belt that goes all the way into his uh, pistol holster. And then he has another holster for that knife I was talking about. So in case you guys want to go ahead and put that knife in, uh, just goes in as such. Let's see if I can get it in. That's what she said. And there we go kind of pretty hard to put in that's what she said again and you can see the lines are sculpted very nice on this figure pretty good job even though it's just a plain paint job it's done very nice even though it's kind of messy right over here then on the back too it's also kind of messy you can kind of see it's kind of dragging down kind of drooping down and you, get, and you get little chips right over here too also. But no biggie. Not going to have him posed up with his back showing or anything like that. You can see the boots right over here with the black stripes. Has two peg holes at the bottom of his beats. And man, the Spidey 2099 mold really brings the figure out. It really does. Like I said, a variety of poses... This thing is, like I said, the best figure in the wave. Uh, if I had to pick just a minor gripe, I would say he could have probably, like uh, Shardimus Prime said, he could have came with uh, a couple of playing cards, which would have been cool. Probably like a playing playing cards effect. I know that's more of like Gambit's Alley, but it would have been cool to see Bullseye come with some. And all right, for so Bullseye's articulation, his head can look down pretty good and look up a good amount. Rotate left and right. Has a tiny bit of pivot. Arms fully rotate. Does have a butterfly joint that goes forward and back. Arms move forward and back. 360. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows that move good. Uh, hands uh, hinge up and down has an ab crunch that moves forward pretty good and back pretty good as well has a waist rotation 360 but the belt does get in the way can do the splits about that much not really with his left leg because like I said that holster legs kick up pretty good not that much back upper thigh swivel double jointed knees uh, boot rotation right up here the feet hinge down and up and he does have ankle pivots so really nice execution with the spidey 2099 mold hasbro great job so let's go ahead and get into some comparisons then here he is next to the netflix punisher and here he is next to the figure that we just reviewed the blade then here's Bullseye next to the two female figures from this wave, Jessica Jones and Elektra. And will Bullseye kill Elektra in Season 3 if we see him? Can't wait to see that. Then here we have Bullseye next to the Netflix Daredevil. And who knows, we might see uh, Bullseye in Season 3. Can't wait for that new uh, Daredevil season though. And the Defenders was great. 
and so here I have bullseye all posed up for you guys and like I said in the beginning of this video I highly recommend this figure to anyone trying to get bullseye into their collection this figure is very awesome like I said in my opinion the best figure in the whole wave the uh, articulation is perfect on this figure the body mold of the spotty 299 really fits uh, this bullseye figure like I said before so I really recommend this figure really in my opinion a must have in case you're a daredevil fan or a Marvel Legends collector well anyways guys thanks for watching my video if you guys like my videos go ahead and thumbs up and also subscribe follow my Instagram account AJ where reviews for toy pickups and toy news once again guys thanks for watching you guys have a great week